So, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're going through the five Tibetan rites in repetitions. This is your daily practice. And as with all exercises, let us begin with some stretching. So we're going to just breathe in, sweeping your hands up, interlace, palms up toward the ceiling. And just reach into that and I want you to come up onto the balls of your feet. And then exhale, dropping down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time. Inhale. Up. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale down. And then exhale to the side. Doesn't matter if you go to left or right first. You can turn and look up and open up the chest and the side a bit more. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the opposite side. And again, you can turn and look up and go to your side more. And back up to center. And we're going to release our hands and we're going to interlace them behind our back. And we're going to bend forward, just a nice forward fold, and we can let our hands drop over our head. Feel that stretch, backs of the legs, in the arms, and the shoulders. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in here, and release on the exhale. Slowly roll up. We're just going to roll those shoulders. We're going to do four shoulder rolls. And now we're going to bring our left arm across. And we're going to bring it up, and just bring it over with the elbow and just lean into that a little bit. And release, and we're going to do the opposite side, arm across, pull it in with the opposite arm. And bringing it up over the head, taking hold of the elbow, and just lean into that a little bit. If you really want to open up that stretch, you can put your feet together. Releasing our hands. And now we're going to grab our elbow from behind. And we're just going to stretch our neck. And we're going to breathe, releasing, grabbing the opposite elbow, and just gently bringing your ear to your shoulder. We're going to be using all of these muscles, so we want to make sure that we stretch them a bit so we can promote less injury while we do that. And now rotate your hands. And while we rotate our hands, come up onto one foot and rotate the opposite foot. Go clockwise or counterclockwise to start. And, and change feet and keep rolling the hands. You're going to get a good workout your wrist today. few times each way. And now stretching our arms and hands. Palm toward in front, fingers down. Now we're going to flip our hand over. And you're just gently pushing in on that. Now palm toward you, fingers down. And now just lift the fingers up. Just gently bring that in toward you. Changing hands. Palm open toward the front, fingers down. Gently pushing it or pulling it toward you. And turning the hand over, fingers down, palm toward you. Just gently bring that in. And now turn upwards, fingers to the sky. And gently pull in toward you. And you can consider yourself to shake that off. And now as we begin, remember as we begin everything, we should be setting our intentions. 
of what it is we're looking to receive. So remembering that this is indeed the fountain of youth. Ah, take a deep breath in with that. And finding our center. I want to think of this as um, like you're going into a meditation. So bringing our breath, bringing our mind into our body, into our center, right down our medial line. Breathing. And we're going to take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now breathing in and out through only the nose. You want to maintain breathing in and out through the nose through this process. Unless any of the exercises are a little harder, then you can breathe out through the mouth. As we go into right one, which is our clockwise rotation. Remembering palms are toward the earth. As we spin 21 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Back to our front and center and remember our recovery. Take a nice deep breath into that. Finding that center. And releasing as we go into right two. Coming down onto the mat. Leg all the way back. In supine, we're flat with the earth. Remembering that we are inhaling as we lift our legs vertical to 90 degrees. And exhale as we bring ourselves back down to the mat to start in position. Hands, palms down on the mat. And one. Two. Three. Four, remembering that you're lifting your head simultaneously, tucking your chin to your chest. Five, inhaling up, exhaling down. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, inhale up. Exhale down. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen, 
19. Inhaling up, exhaling down. 20. Chin up, chin down. And 21. You can reach your hands up above your head. And we're going to come up around onto our knees for right through. Remembering that our knees are hip or shoulder distance apart, whichever is more comfortable. Tops of our feet are flat on the mat. Folding ourselves behind our thighs. Looking forward nice and straight. As we inhale on one, as we arch back into it, like a modified tummy. And exhale forward, tucking our chin back down. Inhale two. Exhale. Three. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Inhaling back. Looking back. Exhaling forward. Bowing. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Remember to breathe. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Nineteen. Twenty. And twenty-one. Back to center. And for our recovery, we can do a nice child's pose. Take a nice breath in there. And coming now over onto our bottoms, sitting up in a nice straight 90 degree angle. Our hands are by our hips, palms flat on the earth. Your legs are the distance that you're going to be comfortable with going into a reverse table. Remembering that you're inhaling up, holding for two seconds, and exhaling down. We come back into this direct starting position each and every time. One, inhale up. Hold up the head ball back. And exhale down. Back to the start. Two, inhale up, hold, one, two, exhale down, three, hold, and down, four, Five, 
Just remember once you're up in the reverse table, pause and count for two. And release. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Inhaling up. Reverse table, allowing your head to fall back and to hold for the two. And exhaling back down to your starting position. And turning over now onto our hands and knees into a table position. Remembering as we do right five, that basically downward dog and upward dog, making certain that your hands are shoulder distance apart. You stay on your toes and the balls of your toes for the entire process. You inhale up into down dog. Exhale into upward facing dog. You want to make certain that your transition is perfect with plank. So that will tell you where you need to be for hands, feet, and knees. Inhale one. Exhale. Two. Three. Inhale into down dog. Exhale into up dog. Four. Smooth transitions. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, inhaling up, exhaling down, twelve,
13. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Resting your feet, your legs on the mat. Coming back into an extended child's pose for our recovery. Let's take a breath in. And now we're going to come up. Come to downward dog. Step forward and forward, forward. Slowly but surely we're rolling up. Now, this can be known as right six, but to complete, we're going to breathe and bend over and we're going to. Scoop our back in, hands are on our thighs. We're going to tilt our pelvic up, pulling our belly button to the spine and tightening. We're activating the huyin, we're tightening all of our pelvic floor and bringing our chin to our chest and breathing in, sucking in. And exhale, releasing that. You can come to a straight spine. Inhale, bringing that in, tightening the whole thing, curve and tightening, and exhale, back to a straight spine, last one, inhale, and release, and rising up. Now, as we complete with all things, nice deep breath in. Make a nice and long, nice long, slow breath out. Remembering our center, hands in prayer pose to our heart center. Bring a smile to your face. As you command your body, I command my body to return to a perfect state of health. Nice deep breath in. Just let that out of the mouth. Releasing your hands. Just allow your energy to be open. And just feel the energy in your body. Feel the energy circulating. And we thank you so much for having been here with us today. We hope that you enjoyed and receive all the benefits from the Tibetan Rites. I'm Cassandra Paolini. We hope to see you again in the next class.